Mike, let's play Uno. I think a year ago we were thinking about like how five. this character was gonna be, um, you know, how we could empathize with this character who actually Six. eats the people he loves. Editing. Mad Max Fury Red. Shit. Let's go. Clubs. Yeah. 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 Every day. In the cutting room and adventure. Pick. Jules, thank you so much. Sound. The Revenant. Five. You're an amazing director, but you're a better and more amazing human being. And production design. Mad Max and Pure Road. When Shelley's the wrong. Sits in a couple of used cars. You get to win one of these. Plus four uh, hearts. Six. You'll change. Six. Diamonds. Nothing. You're turning your back on Pick up two. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do Ridiculous. Matt BBC News with Clive Myrie and reporting Scotland with Sally Lick. New evidence tonight of the financial pressures on mental health care in England. A BBC News investigation finds the income of mental health trusts fell last year despite government assurances. Problems in our hospital sector mean that money increasingly is getting sucked in to meet their rising costs. And the NHS is struggling Diamonds. to actually commit resources to fund mental health providers. Tributes have been paid to the four members Eight. of a British rock band and their manager killed in a car crash Three, in Sweden. Four, five, HSBC six, decides to keep its headquarters seven, in Britain eight. after considering a move to Hong Kong. Two Did Arsenal do enough to cut the gap at the top Take of the Premier two. at home to title rivals Leicester City? And it's best actor for Leonardo DiCaprio as his film, The Revenant, sweeps the board at the BAFTAs. Four. Seven. Ten. She. Three. Three. A very good evening to The BBC has uncovered new evidence of the financial pressure <coughs> on NHS mental health care providers. A Freedom of Information investigation okay. has found that adjusting for inflation, the total income of mental health trusts in England fell by 2% in the last mm. financial year. The revelation comes ahead of a major report mm. on mental health care in England get, get, to be published get, get. tomorrow. Here's our health editor, Cupid. Bringing mental health into the open, no. that's the aim of this exhibition in East London. With works by artists like Bobby Baker, who've had experiences of mental illness. She's organised it to illuminate the issue and underline the importance of properly funded services. The pain of mental illness 
is just something else, and it's so private and so hidden. And it's the early stages Space. where you need the help soonest, you know, when you start to fall apart, that there was so much more could be done, and that just, thought, well, it just doesn't exist in a lot of places, or it's too late. Parity of esteem that's giving the same priority to physical and mental health was legislated for by the last government. But our investigation shows that the funding of mental health trusts has lagged behind that of other providers, and many are facing cuts. The funding of mental health has risen rapidly up the political Reverse. agenda. We made freedom of information requests to mental health trusts in England asking for details of their income. Around 90% responded. If you add them all up and after stripping out the effects of inflation, income was down by 2% in the 2014 financial year. In the current year, there's set to be an increase of 0.3%. But even with that overall increase, 29 of the 53 trusts which responded, and they expected income to be lower this year. We asked health boards in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland what they were spending on mental health almost all responded.